Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Jade and if you're new here I like to do things all beauty and makeup related. If that sounds good to you then why not hit that subscribe button. Today I have a really exciting one because we will be reviewing the Sleeping Beauty Disney Princess palette. If you would like to see some swatches, a tutorial and my final thoughts on this palette please keep on watching. When I first saw these online, I wasn't too keen on them because I haven't really enjoyed or got a thrill for the Disney Princess palettes. But in time, after watching people's reviews and the colour story of these and just the vibe from the palette, I picked them up. This is the Sleeping Beauty palette and this is the Snow White. I'm really excited to try these. So today we will be using the Sleeping Beauty palette. This is the front cover of the palette and I love the detail to these palettes. It feels very Disney-like, all the different patterns around the edges. So you have the um, spinning wheel, some flowers, and it's just gorgeous. This is what the palette looks like inside. So you do have your blushes, your highlighters, and then you have the eyeshadow palette on the other side. The colour story doesn't entirely make sense to me. Um, you do have your reds, your purples, your blues. However, I feel there should be blacks. There should be a variety of pinks. You know, you've got the three fairly godmothers. Um, and I just feel some of that is missing from the colour story. So here are the three blushes in the palette, really gorgeous, um, they swatched well, there's a lot of pigment to them and I think they are stunning shades, however I don't feel these are suitable for all skin tones. Here are the three highlighters, they aren't, mm, they aren't as glowy or like they're a different texture, they're more chalky. They are beautiful and I'm just interested to see how these apply to the skin. So we're gonna start off by trying the blush and I'm gonna take this shade here called Make It Pink. So as always, these shades are very pigmented, but I'm just gonna apply it to the cheek. So that shade is really pretty. I feel it's very subtle. You could definitely build it up to be more pigmented. Um, this is the lightest shade in the palette. So what I'm gonna do is the other cheek and then we will try the highlighter. So that is the blush applied to both cheeks. And I'm feeling super cute. I really, really love it. So now for highlighter, I want to go in with this sort of pink champagne shade to go with the blush. And this is called Sword of Truth. Okay, that definitely does have a glow. I'm just using a fan brush so I can spread it over the cheek. It's a very subtle highlight but very nice. So I'm going to do the other cheek quickly. So that's the highlighter applied. I've applied it to my upper lip, on my nose, on my forehead and my cheeks. I like it. I think it really goes well with that shade of blush that I chose. So what we're gonna do now is get this palette swatched. So this is the whole palette swatched. You do have quite a few fair pastel shades in there. This one, this one, this one, and this one. They're quite pastel and fair, but the shimmers are gorgeous and quite a few of the mattes are very, very pigmented. 
So I think the look that I'm going to go for is something pinky purpley um, because that gives me sleep and beauty vibes and a little bit of Maleficent as well. So I'm going to take this shade here called Aurora and just pop that through the first half of my crease. I really like that colour. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is sort of pearly. So it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's not pink matte. It's kind of, there's no shimmer in it. It's really hard to explain. Um, you can just see there. But yeah, that applied really well. It was really soft on the eyes and I'm really happy with it. The next shade I want to take is this purple here called Spell and just pop that on the outer edges. So that purple applied well, blended well into the pink, however it's not as dark as I wanted it to be, um, it does look a lot darker in the pan, um, but yeah I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to take this shade here called Sleep and just blend out both the colours. So those colours have blended out really nicely together. It does need a bit of tidying up like under the eyes. Um, but yeah, super happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is cut the crease and then we'll be back to apply a shimmer. So I'm thinking of going in with two shimmers here. I'm thinking of going in with Magical First, which is this white one here. Um, and then blending it out with this one here called Wish which is a blue. So that is the shade Magical Applied. It's on this eye, but not this one. You can definitely see the difference, but it's not as vibrant as it could be. So now I'm gonna take the shade Wish and just pop that next to the shade Magical. That's the shade Wish Applied. Again, they're not that vibrant and pigmented as most of the shimmers can be from I Heart Revolution. You can definitely see it, but they are more pastel-y. Um, it is gorgeous, it has worked. Um, I just need to blend it into the previous shade that we used. So what I'm going to do is do the other eye, finish the rest of my makeup and then be back to give you my final thoughts on this palette. This is the finished look using the Sleeping Beauty Disney Princess palette. I'm happy with this palette, I'm happy with the look. Really, really gorgeous. The colours worked well, they blended well together. The face palette I was really, really happy with. I love the blush, I love the highlighter. Really, really gorgeous. The colour story I was a little bit confused about what the colours mean, etc. Because you do have, for example, this shade here called Sleeping Beauty, which is a red. This shade here called Maleficent, which is a green. It doesn't really make sense to me. However, the mattes were very pigmented. The only problem I had was the shimmers that I used today were not as vibrant. They were quite pastel, um, but they have worked well on the eyes. They've blended well together. I had no issues with that at all. The price point of this palette, I definitely think it's worth it because you are getting a full side of eyeshadows and a full side of blushes and highlighters. So I definitely think this palette is worth the money. So that is the end of today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. What are your thoughts on the colour story with this palette? 
Are you picking up either of the new princesses? Have you tried them already? Which is your favourite? Let me know down below. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please get a, a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.